Hello, Douglas County. Welcome to our sixth episode of DCTV 23's weekly update on COVID-19. I'm Rick Martin, Director of Communications and Community Relations for Douglas County. And I'm Communications and Media Specialist Lena Hardy. Thank you for joining us. To begin our show, we would like to remind citizens that COVID-19 is still very present within our community. Therefore, we continue to encourage citizens to wear a face covering while being in public, wash hands repeatedly throughout the day, and practice social distancing to fight the spread of COVID-19. Rick, what are the latest updates for cases in our community? According to our latest report, as of May 14th, Douglas County has 422 confirmed cases, and sadly, 14 of our own citizens have passed away due to the virus. On behalf of the chairman and the board of commissioners, we would like to send our sincere condolences to those individuals and their families. The state of Georgia has a new COVID-19 hotline. This hotline was created to answer questions and address concerns related to the virus. If you believe that you are experiencing symptoms of COVID-19 or have been exposed to the virus, please contact your primary care doctor, an urgent care clinic, or your local health care center. Please do not show up unannounced at an emergency room or health care facility. The number for the COVID-19 hotline is 844-422-2681. Cobb and Douglas Public Health have tested over 1,000 people at our testing site at Hunter Park as of May 13th. Exit, to be exact, we're talking about 1,072. Now, anyone can be tested. That's the new um, guidance right now from Cobb and Douglas Public Health. Anyone can be tested, regardless if they have symptoms or not. Please visit cdphcovid19testing.org to complete the online testing referral to make an appointment. The hours of operation at Hunter Park testing site are Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 5 p.m. and on Saturday from 9 a.m. to 12 noon. Please note, testing is by appointment only. Individuals who arrive without a pre-approved number from Cobb and Douglas Public Health would, will not be able to be tested. Speaking of Cobb and Douglas Public Health, they wanted to provide businesses with simple guidelines as they decide to open up to support the public health of the community. These guidelines recommend the visitor of that business should stop and check to see if they are wearing a face covering and if they are showing any signs of COVID-19, such as a fever, cough, or shortness of breath. If you have any of these symptoms, do not enter that business and get tested for COVID-19. Free testing is available to you. Visit Cobb and Douglas Public Health .org for more information. Just today, Douglas County Commission Chair Dr. Ramona Jackson Jones and the Board of Commissioners hosted five groundbreaking ceremonies and one ribbon cutting ceremony to safely celebrate new construction for Douglas County's Senior Center Activity Center, Derelict Park Tennis Courts, Boundary Waters Multipurpose Center, Fair Play Park Concession Stand, and Bill Art Park's Concession Stand, and Douglas County's Radio Tower System. All of these updates and additions to our parks would not have been possible without SPLOS funds from citizens of Douglas County. So we thank you for your supporting of local businesses and making your pennies count. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, Douglas County Public Libraries will remain closed until further notice. Despite being closed, Douglas County Libraries are offering temporary drive-up services beginning May 11th, Monday through Thursday, from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. These services include requesting library materials, checking out library materials holds, and receiving printouts. To print materials, call your library and they will provide you with an email address and printing costs. Residents may not request more than 10 items at a time. Staff guarantees items will be available one hour later upon request. The drive up service is intended to provide as many library services as possible while the libraries are closed to the public. Douglas County Senior Services recently received a very large community donation during the COVID-19 health crisis from a Douglas County resident with a big heart. Stephen Paul Sr., along with members of his family, 
and friends from several local subdivisions, such as the estates at Holly Springs, Chapel Hill, and Plantation at Dorset, donated over 25 boxes of non-perishable food items, hand soap, hand sanitizers, and toiletries. On behalf of the Senior Services Department, we would like to express our appreciation to this act of generosity and kindness to the older adults in our community. Also happening tonight, District 2 Commissioner Kelly Robinson is hosting a Douglas County Mental Health Virtual Forum on May 14th at 6 p.m. via Douglas County Happenings Facebook page. The forum will consist of several local experts, officials, and a behavioral health documentary. Be sure to tune in. And also with the continued need for food for families in our community, on, in light of the crisis that we're dealing with, District 3 Commissioner Terenia Carthen and First Baptist Church Douglasville, in partnership with the Atlanta Food Bank, are hosting their second drive through community food giveaway on Saturday, May 16th at 11 a.m. The first 100 cars will receive food. Again, Cobb and Douglas Public Health continues to encourage Douglas County citizens to wear a face covering while being in public, wash hands, and practice social distancing. Protect yourself, protect those around you. Douglas County citizens, please remain informed and follow our daily updates on CelebrateDouglasCounty.com, Douglas County Happenings Facebook page, and our DCTV23 Facebook page. Thank you for watching. See you next week.